Good morning, everyone. God bless you all. I'm here with a very short message. I won't talk that long. It's really short. It's just a dream I had last night. And I can't take it anymore. It's like I have to share with you guys. It's really touching and it's happening. It's what is happening right now. So I had a dream. I was in a place like a hotel room with a friend. We were sharing together. And then suddenly I, I had a guest, a guy, like all dressed up. With all lady dress, like a gown and lady uh, t shirts. And I was like, What are you having on? She, he said, Yeah, it's a rainy thing right now. People are laughing at me, but later on they will start doing the same thing. They will start having the same dress on, blah, blah. I was like, Okay. So said, Yeah, it fits, right? I couldn't say yes or no because I was thinking, like, he was looking ridiculous. A man with a women's shirt on. But we, we passed that. So he, he had the shirts, he bought some guns, like, he had it on my closet where I have my clothes also and then later we were all there talking and everything and then later on I found out things were happening like five minutes away from us I went out it was like fire coming all the way from the other streets coming towards our direction I told my friend my friend was there Elizabeth I was like Elizabeth see what's happening come see come see before she comes out the fire was getting closer and closer I was like, oh my God, it's getting serious. Run, run, run. We're all running for our lives. And later on, it's like we jumped somewhere and closed our eyes. Opening our eyes, everybody was just lying down, dead, fire all over. And the guy that came to me with the woman dress on, he died also. And later on, we opened our eyes. I was the only one alive with my friend Elizabeth. And some other people, I didn't know them, but we were still alive. All like... Like we are confused and like we don't know what happened. We're all there. So later on, we were just walking, walking to like, oh, uh, walking over the street to look for a place to chill and find other people. Ask them what just happened. On our way going there, we we saw another like towards our direction again, like a heavy water just blew us from somewhere. Just coming towards our direction again, like heavy water. It's like this one you can't escape. If you didn't die from from fire, you would die from this one. This water was so heavy. I was like, oh my god, what is this one again? Heavy water. See, we, went, we found a place to hide ourselves, that the water would pass us by. But still, but we being there, hiding ourselves, we just kneel down. I saw myself kneeling down with my friend Elizabeth. We we're just crying like, God, please, God, please, God, please. If you have sinned against you, Lord, please, it's time for you to like forgive our sins. Please help us, God. Help us. And when we're doing that, I, I, I found like I saw the cloud open up, opening up. And the cloud the cloud opened up and I could see a face. A face just looking directly towards us. Like he was looking at us. I told my friend Elizabeth, like, can you like no, she saw it first. She was like Oh my God! After seeing the face, she, she 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 like she bowed down and was like praying. She was praying. I didn't really notice at first. After seeing that she was praying, I then looked towards what she saw. I saw a face looking towards us. Oh my God! I directly bowed down. Also, was like pray. It's like it's your last time for survival. Like your last your last time to breathe in. Like if not. Uh, God. It was like an end time coming and everybody have everybody everybody's going to die. It can be from fire, it can be from water, from earthquake, anything at all. It was a time that God was coming and everybody needs to die. And we were not ready to die. We we're not ready to give up our life so easily. So we just we just kneel down, we're praying, we're praying, we're praying, and we're praying. And for God's mercy, he looked down on my friend Elizabeth and he pointed something on her and she disappeared. I didn't see her anymore. And I was there afraid and praying that what about me, God? I was praying and shouting, please God, don't, don't forget about me, don't forget about me. And before I know, he also pointed something on me and took me away. But he told me, Constance, it's not your time yet. To follow me, I want to give you a message. Go back to the earth. 
go back to the earth and tell my people to not take this to not take these things like for for nothing it's really serious like god time is coming it's really it's time for for him to come and he wants he wants to like um share this message like it doesn't matter what you are doing or you think god is not seeing you god sees everything and also that guy that came to me with the with the, with the uh, ladies clothes on with the woman clothes on the guy died why because god doesn't accept homosexuality i don't know who who is telling you all that homo lesbian is allowed it's normal god just look at the heart god sees the heart and he accepts you like that no god doesn't see you like that and i said god didn't create two women to be, to be together i know this 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 message you're gonna like um uh, about men getting married women getting married people will start arguing about it i won't be there to answer any questions about it but i'm just going to tell you like god won't accept god didn't, god doesn't accept homosexuality because in that dream it made, it made me see it because he killed he that guy died imagine he was like also safe and like doing doing the right thing he won't he would have died i guess he wouldn't have died he was also still alive to like witness god's healing and also like god should have also taken taken him along but we didn't see him anymore even, even before the water come rushing to our direction he was nowhere to be found anymore and after all this i saw myself like be dropped down somewhere to like to share the gospel normally i don't do this coming to us coming but, uh, before the camera to talk about what i dreamt about and i've had this dream several times but i never had the gods to come to say it because i'm really a shy person to just come and saying god said god said i don't really do that but it was like this time god just said you need to go out and say it if i don't do it it's like my, my responsibility and god will hold me um uh, don't know how to say it it will hold me accountable like why didn't i say what he asked me to say you know so also in that dream after he dropped me somewhere i saw myself in a long gown like really long like all my body was like um covered up nowhere to be shown like no breast showing no eyes showing nothing showing everything was covered up and and he said like don't leave a world to please men leave a world to please god meaning nowadays we live in a world like if you don't show your breasts or show your eyes or show your legs you think nobody's seeing you nobody will admire you like we look at the uh, deeper life people that's the people that like dress all over the clothes of their body even their face they sometimes they close it but they are living to please god not men so we should take that as an example like if you want to go after god stop showing your body i see nowadays in church people wearing crop, crop top like short t-shirt they can see their belly and their eyes are all showing god if god comes oh god <laughs> what i'm trying to say is take the things of god really serious because the end time is coming and if it comes if it comes to be your last day on earth just imagine you you dying today right now like a car killing you you didn't have time to say god please forgive me god please i want you you go to hell so you still have the time right now you are living you are still alive so you have the time to change from your bad ways and like repent and still follow god now you still have the time to do it so don't joke with things of god god's really coming soon god is coming soon stay blessed and um I hope my message has like blessed someone and I don't know of had had impact on anybody. Just yeah. For me it has. From now on, by God's grace, I want to go live as God wants me to live. Not to please men, not to please anybody, but to please God. God bless you.